piece of advice for uh, the youngsters would be a holistic approach to problems and uh, conviction to have conviction in what they're doing and then to it so as a person i believe that if there is a passion that you have and if you can do that as your dream and if you start following that and chase that i think you can take care of all the obstacles as a b school student you are um, in a phase where you would think whether you'll be able to excel in this or not excel do you have enough resources to support you to kind of excel in whatever you're thinking of or do you have an ecosystem uh, is the government supporting you there are multiple of these thoughts that will come into your head and there are multiple obstacles like this which you need to cross by and achieve what you want to do you should understand what are you trying to solve in fintech what is your target audience and how do you want to solve that problem uh, it's more of outside inside approach rather than inside outside approach what i mean by that is that you should understand your customer pretty clearly it's better if you can undergo that particular problem yourself because unless you appreciate understand the problem you will never innovate a fintech product or a fintech solutions for the target audience the management graduates make use of effectively the resources can definitely they will get a good uh, the academic outcome as well as the good packages in their jobs so normally the interest has to grow the students who take a lead are gradu i mean management graduates they have to take a lead in i know uh, leading and suggesting a good resources to the librarian and definitely that will be useful for the individual as well as the future professionals i spoke about various funding opportunities to the startup founders and encourage the the mba student to also con, you know consider creating disruption and innovation in the market and go through the journey of foundership in that process we learned the varieties of funding opportunity and i was impressed to see how students made the session in very interactive the theme of the topic i mean that's very interesting transforming the libraries into lrcs and so that's that's what it's to be taken from the workshop the whole idea is to lift the mindset of see of seeing the libraries just as libraries to resource learning centers so now there's there's a next level of the game we are looking at now what this workshop does is this brings the thought leaders in front of the librarians and they get in touch with the latest practices that are happening around the libraries and how the lrcs are being built different case studies how top notch institutions are leveraging on the best practices majority of the cases people are using digital resources why because it's it's many advantages in using and our print resources converting into digital resources it's an advantage to users uh, because people can access from anywhere and people can use that people has to look about that and they have to follow some conditions to retrieve information from the internet and make use of resources by using some citations and all